Hey, to Castle Long Gamer. Welcome back to Tour de France 24. It's episode number 20. We're on to the Open Tour. It's our last race of the year. Following that is the World Championships. I may be invited this time. I definitely wasn't last year. I'm not far off from being amongst the best U.S. riders, so certainly possible at this point that I could be selected this year. But there's no points team points and I'm here for the team this year because we need to crack that top 18 to get into the bigger races to score the big points to actually be competitive amongst the best. Bill Lombardi is last Giro de Como as they call it here 100 points available for that final race this race just 25 so there's a huge opportunity for some of those teams behind us to gain. We're in a great position right now, but I do think we need to score a good haul of points to assure that Lombardia doesn't set others up to get ahead of us. Let's look at the profile working backwards. Stage five, two climbs that I feel like I might be able to handle. Stage four can absolutely handle that one. Stage three, not as easy. It's going to be pretty tough but you know with team support I feel like I can actually handle those climbs stage two is flat and stage one is a prologue I'm gonna try to send another writer one of our team members into the breakaway uh, to go after the combativity and some points and you know maybe they can snag the uh, king of the mountains but uh, we're going to pick somebody from the team to be a breakaway specialist, and it's not going to be me. I'm going to be going for GC uh, because the prologue's only 7K. And I think I can. I'm going to lose time, but I think I won't lose much. A new rider is now ready on the ramp for this individual time trial. A few more seconds until he sets off. Come on, let's give him some encouragement. <laughs> All right, here we go. Out the box, trying to quickly get up to speed here. Whoa, 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 whoa. A new rider is now ready on the ramp for this individual time trial. A few more seconds until he sets off. Come on, let's give him some encouragement. All right, here we go into the prologue. The big key here is to lose a minimal amount of time. Big turn here early on. We're going to have to get out of the saddle. And there we go. Push on. Already that's a few seconds lost. Just try to navigate that corner. But it's a corner that definitely could have gone worse than it did. A lot of tight corners through here. Let's attack the climb now. Down. Once again attacking the climb. And the red bar is already gone. Got a little descent coming though. We'll push through there. Good tempo so far, maybe. Definitely not too bad on time, I would think, but I have no idea. Uh, I should be using the TT position through there, and I wasn't. It's very technical. Barely any red bar, just enough for a finish. Very tight corner. Ay, 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 ay. That was harsh. That was not good. Okay, into the TT. Little downhill swing right here for a moment to give some more mo more momentum. And then into the final push. Final kilometer already at eight minutes and yeah, not looking good. Not looking good. Last push, last hill. And the red bar's gone. One more <laughs> acceleration. Yeah, that was, I don't know. That, that was kind of rough. Very technical, very hard, very hard prologue. I didn't make a meal of it, but I definitely had a couple corners that were a lot tighter than I expected. I needed to break more than I did and then try to, you know, then make the tight corner after not decelerating enough in the first place made my exit poor and slowed down the takeoff i have a feeling i'm going to be down the order quite a ways 
So Vernon takes the win with Leknesun on same time. Uh, Gorka took eighth, just four seconds down. So we're definitely going to be uh, using him and Piganzoli and myself, I would say, probably as the leaders here early on. Uh, I was only 34 seconds down. I, I think I could have done better. I really do think that was not the best time that I could have had. It was difficult. But I think worst case scenario, I probably only lost maybe 10 seconds. And this, with this team, has been pretty typical of me to be about fourth out of six riders. Stage two, just a simple sprint stage, and there's only a single KOM point. Even though the kilometers could help in the connectivity no a little bit, the, the fatigue will not. The least that can be said is, you didn't prove me wrong. So straight into stage three and the biggest climb of this race, it's going to be the, the make or break of GC hopes. Uh, but in the meantime, Diaz is the guy that I've picked to uh, be in the breakaway. He's attacked once, that group's been caught. We're going to okay. tell him to attack a second time. Diaz is well down the order, which is why I kind of figured he would be a good candidate for getting off the front. He's in a group of three right now, about half a minute ahead right at this stage. He definitely didn't collect points that first one. But we just need that group to make it up to the front group. And there you go. You have a group of nine at the front with Warren Bargill. Uh, 50 seconds, it's starting to open up, so it looks like that group might succeed. They're still riding pretty hard, but the gap is increasing fairly rapidly. Peloton, not overly thrilled. Uh, still riding pretty hard, and there's fatigue in the legs of every last rider out here as we head towards this intermediate sprint point. Tempo's been high enough that Sergio Hekita, a very good strong rider, has been dropped and is very quickly coming back to the peloton where we are still just a minute and a half down and actually closing pretty rapidly on them. Looks like the uh, breakaway is not going to make it. Uh, why don't we tell him to attack? Okay. See who goes I'll with put him. In a big acceleration. Switching to working together. Two of them go clear. The others are half a minute down. It's Bargiel with Diaz. And on to the climb. Let's tell him to go ahead and gel now. Okay, I'll consume a feed. Uh, he leaves Bargiel behind. He's going to go solo. Uh, KOM, if he could make it to the top of this climb solo and get maximum points, he's going to be in a great position for the King of the Mountains classification with uh, this being the major climb of this race. All right, we are now also in position that it's a good time to have everyone else gel as well. Okay, I'll consume a feed. There we go, restoring our strength. Uh, Gorka was supposed to be protected. Let's fix that. Okay, there I'll protect go. him. While Bargill plus one other rider is back into the peloton. So Diaz is alone at the front and halfway up. Uh, I'm dropped down to 70% uh, effort here. Three minutes ahead is plenty. If our te tempo doesn't change drastically, yeah, now he's just three and a half K from the top. Meanwhile, our group's hanging in there pretty dang well, too. Two minutes ahead. 300 meters. Diaz, 20 points. Uh, do I want somebody else like Quinn right here, right now, or do I want myself to do it? You know what? I'm going to have Quinn and I both do it. I don't care which of us gets the points, but I want to help help the king of the mountains for Diaz. Um, this is to help Diaz secure the jersey because nobody else in particular is uh, going for it. You're on your way to the top spot of the white jersey. 
There we go. So 15 points. Quinn gets 12. And that keeps the points away. Whoa, Quinn. Okay, hold on. There you go. Schultz, Toins. There are the other ones. this point should Quinn and I work and go go get the points again I'm gonna tell Quinn to uh there will be five here. three two and one point to be taken for the first four riders at the next king of the mountain summit I'll make a big effort on the relay there we go Quinn coming through 90% effort Follow him for a little bit. If we have a 40 second advantage over the field, we might as well just collect the points. Alright, we are holding that gap for now. We're actually coming up on Diaz a bit, but so far so good. He has getting that combativity, getting those KOM boys, getting a huge advantage. And we are setting it up where it's, it's going to be really easy for 1K from the top. Quinn comes through. There's Diaz. We want him to go through first, even if we catch him. He gets five. And that's most of the points to our team. Now we're a minute 44 ahead and we've got a nice long descent here. Big recovery. At ease on short climbs, mountain passes are on the flat. All he lacks is a good turn of speed when finishing in a big group. All right, well now the three of us are together. And this is starting to become a, like, can we make it as a trio? I'm already back to full strength, I just realized. How are these two doing? Not full strength. He's a teammate who has everything to prove. Twenty three seconds ahead of my teammates. They're supposed to be riding pretty hard. That's the descent done. Back off. I've got almost two minute advantage. Doesn't feel like the kind you hang on to, right? I think I go back to the group and, and we'll let them carry on and finish this thing off or just follow them, let them do the work. That's probably the smartest thing. They could set me up for maybe a stage win. Run up into the feed zone. Everybody has used their gels. Yes. A lot of a lot of riders are just finishing that climb and just beginning that descent. Wow. Talk about some separation. You're the biggest threat to the yellow jersey at the front of the race. All right. Here is Diaz and Quinn. 80 for Quinn and 70 for Diaz. I'll relay. But it's not looking like they're riding hard. I'm I'm out front when they're supposed to be. I'll make a big effort on the relay. All right, we're gonna use up Quinn as the domestique here uh, to set up the climb, and then I'm gonna use Diaz to get that cat too and push as hard as he can. To get one through there the and then on the cat one I'll plan to leave Diaz behind and try to go solo yeah we'll, we'll save Diaz we'll use Quinn for now and let Diaz try to attack on the cat too and that'll be everybody else back together quick change uh, we're gonna tell Quinn to ride at a hundred 
So this will still put a little more pressure on the group behind us while not doing damage to Diaz and myself. Um, Quinn, using that gel, gets a little more push, a little more oomph, and then Diaz can attack on the climb. And depending on how the gap's looking, because it's actually going out right now, uh, I might follow Diaz and just have him ride hard for now. Use up Quinn and then use the up next Diaz. King of the mountains summit will bring five and the gap's holding, so we'll, we'll let Quinn stay. Gap's going out. This is good. Johannes and out the back. Peloton starting to thin. Only 300 meters. It's not a huge gap over the over the field though. Uran's out the back. Bargiel, Woods, Pascal. There's plenty of good riders out the back. No matter what happens now, this is well. As long as we stay in the peloton, don't get dropped by it. If it if and when it makes contact. Uh, it's been a good day because half the field, including a lot of good riders, are losing time. All right, Quinn's not going to last much longer on this one. The favorites are one minute behind your group. Keep an eye on him. He's the best climber in the breakaway. Opened the gap to one minute. Gap has opened to one minute. Uh, we're going to switch to Diaz here in a moment. Still want Quinn to grab the two points if possible. And we're inside one. Okay, we're inside one kilometer. Uh, so we're going to tell Quinn to now sit on. And we're going to tell Diaz to ride at 100. I'll make a big effort on the relay. And I will follow. Give Quinn the little bit of a breather there and chance to maybe hang on and at least get third over the top. And there you go. Five points, three points, two points. Diaz is in such a strong position now for the King of the Mountains and the combativity for today anyway that he won't lead it. Whoever was in the break yesterday will have more kilometers than he's had, but we're going to send him in the break again tomorrow. And it's a minute and 38 advantage. Quinn's been dropped. <laughs> Diaz wants to work. No, I, won't, I don't want you to work. You're gonna, you're gonna go deep and do your thing. So Quinn's been left behind. Uh, Zana has. Oh, hello. Let's take stock of what's going on with the rest of these guys. Zana has attacked. Gil Martin, Piganzoli's there, uh, and then 46 and. Like, I don't even want to use their gel yet. Bigger gap I have over the top of the climb. Whatever we get on the descent is what we'll the use to finish. So we want block. to be gel used. We want to be... Higher you go. We want to climb this basically as hard and as fast as we can once Diaz is spent. The plus, Fortunato, uh, small gaps here. Schultz, who picked up that one point, has been dropped. It's down to 54 riders chasing, and it's down to two riders chasing at one minute behind. 137 of the peloton. Quinn is back in the peloton. We'll tell him to protect Piganzoli. And we're gonna tell these guys to use their gels now. Top off that energy. All right, that's everybody's gels used. And here is Diaz. Okay, I'll consume a feed. Running out of energy. Okay, on to me. See you later, Diaz. Thank you for your work. I think this tempo is probably manageable. That was the steepest portion of the climb right there. It's going to get a little easier from here. And I'm losing time right now to Fortunato. He's being left behind. 
10.6%. Diaz out the back. 29 left. And all, all the other breakaway riders have been caught. I have a one minute and a half advantage. Lutsenko out the back. Tish Benut out the back. And one man has managed to get away on his own. I can go a little bit harder. I get 42. 13 left. And they're all still there. Hamilton. Izagira. Pigazzoli. Plus 10 other riders. Make that 7. Just like that, it's down to 7. It's the start of the descent of the man in front. Six. Reduce speed a bit, otherwise you'll hit the wall. You were first over the top of the climb. Okay, we've That's got good. to tuck when we can, and then we've got to ride. Wow, it's, it's flat. This is supposed to be a descent. Minute and a half ahead. Three riders, Plap plus Izakira Bigazzoli. So Plap having to do all the work while Hamilton sitting on as the next rider on the road. So we are first two of the three riders in the two, three, four position and fifth. And the descent is done. The descent is done. 6.8k from here. Remember, I was 30 seconds down. This is going to put me in the race leader's jersey as long as I don't run out of energy. And we should have a 2-3 finish too because Plap should be the one doing all the work. Make sure he is. And yes, none of those three are working. Why would they? Why would they? I'm at the front. It's a 3K. Victory today. There we go. All the way to the line. All the way to the line. You seem to be running on empty. Lift your foot. Hamilton is the third one. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to control Hamilton. You don't want to blow up. Because these guys have 1k to go. Yeah, there you go. All right, Gorka takes second, Pigazzoli takes third, and here we go. We're going to attack for fifth as Plap got fourth. Oh, super big game through, but that's okay. A 1 2 3 finish and sixth. And I've I just finished like a minute and a half ahead of everybody. Holy crap! Okay, ten second time bonus at the finish line. Minute and a half advantage over two teammates who were five seconds ahead of Plap plus bonus seconds. Zimmerman was three minutes down. Hamilton right there on same time. Really, no matter about the fifth or sixth there, other than I suppose Hamilton missed out on a couple points, but. We just got a lot of points for, for this particular stage, and we're in a fantastic position for the GC with the bulk of the chasers coming in roughly four minutes down. I lost half a minute on the prologue, but I'm in an incredible position. Plap is really the only one now who can likely challenge in these last two stages. So here is the GC, and of course the other important bits along the way, because we are targeting multiple jerseys, and at this point, are we targeting all of them? Maybe. So I lead. Gorka is a minute 12 down. Remember, he, he was in the top 10. He's now second, minute 12. Plap is a minute 20 down. Bigginzoli is fourth at a minute and a half. And Chris Hamilton is fifth place at 256. And then all of a sudden you're at Zimmerman at 306 and Van Wilder and Leknesu and Kwiatkowski and all those guys are like three and a half minutes down in the overall. Like, holy crap. <laughs> KOM? 
I lead with 31 points because I got that last climb and I was second across all those previous climbs. But Diaz is the guy who I sent out there for it. He's got 30 points. He's going to be in the breakaway again as he was well down the order. So he's that's his jersey. I might have it today. He's going to wear it anyway, but we want him to go out and secure it. So Quinn has 16, and the reason all this happened was because I was just trying to give a boost to Diaz and his odds of winning it because ultimately, at the end of the day, right, 47 points Quinn and I were able to take away from other competitors to provide it for Diaz. And then ultimately we ended up working together and, you know, it set everything up, including the the victory for myself. So way better than planned or expected uh, when we were near the top of our Hars Clat, oh my gosh, Hars category climb, hard category easier easier to say anyway our late attack there in that final kilometer uh was spur of the moment like let's just help diaz secure points and all of a sudden it was like oh we're 30 seconds ahead and we're descending fast and it was like uh there was another climb right after let's go get those points and then you know long descent and next thing you know we hit the bottom and it's like we're ahead quinn keep riding Anyway, anyway, you saw it. You don't need a summary. You know what happened, right? Schultz has just 12 points. Plapp has 8 points. So that King of the Mountains is looking pretty dang good. I'll have to see what what the consequence is, like how many points are still left out there in those last two stage. Uh, but Diaz should be in a really good position. Points classification, okay. We, we, are not, we are not in position for that one. We won't bother. But Young Riders, obviously, it's the main GC. It's not the Young Riders. I'm going for Plaps. <laughs> the one guy to challenge me is a Young Rider as well. So <laughs> eight minute advantage in the team classification. Whew. But here's where we still have work to do. Diaz got 109 kilometers off the front, but he is still 64K behind the leaders for this one as stage two was a lot longer and those guys stayed away for while so diaz has some work to do uh to make that one happen in the fourth and fifth stages and since the kom anyway it makes sense but we've got a lot to focus in on for those two stages because it's not just about sending diaz at a break it's about managing the race and setting myself up for the gc and then you know isagira and pigginzoli and hamilton all trying to maintain four of us and one rider. So we've got basically one guy to work. We'll have to sacrifice Hamilton if need be to keep Pigazzoli and Gorka well placed and keep them in the top four. Uh, if Plap gets ahead of Gorka, that's fine. As long as he doesn't get ahead of me, obviously. Take the win. Take the overall first and foremost. Izagira in a pinch. We'll use him. Pigazzoli in a pinch. We'll use them if we can. We'll attack Plap and get Piganzoli ahead of him and get a 1-2-3 on the podium. If we can keep Chris Hamilton around, we'll keep him around. But we'll use those guys up one by one as necessary to secure the top two spots. To secure the top spot. To secure whatever we can secure of those. But one by one, we'll, we'll use them as we need. But two more stages. And Diaz trying to, to get the combativity and the KOM. So phew, it's a lot. It's going to be a lot. But holy crap, what a start to this race. I'm Decathlon Gaber. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there.